Thank you, Vice President. Commissioner. Thank you. We have a very worrying situation, and we have a lot of people that have been uh, falsely, false promises have, and, and manipulation has put them outside the Greek borders. And a lot of these are people that were in a very difficult situation already, and now they are being a bit trapped by this situation. I think that the most important now is that we should focus on that this political crisis that we have right now do not turn into a long-term humanitarian crisis. This must be the focus. The European external borders are not open and should not be open. But we are, what we are facing now is an extraordinary pressure on these uh, Greek borders. And that's why it's very important with the solidarity from other member states that we need to show to Greece. Vice President had just uh, explained uh, the different uh, actions that we now are taking and that we will present today also at the extraordinary um, uh, Justice and Home Affairs Council that will take place five o'clock today. We have also had an extraordinary board meeting in Frontex uh, where the, the, the discussion between member states, so I guess that of all these extra border guards, 100 extra border guards, and all these also manned uh, vessels, helicopters, are almost on their way to Greece right now. We are also, together with the member states, uh, trying to find to uh, facilitate Greece with all these uh, other aspects that they need, with um, like blankets, tents, uh, medical teams, and a lot of other things that is necessary for the, the people that are arriving in Greece right now. I think that the humanitarian angle of this, right, what's going on right now, is also very worrying. We have a situation on the Greek islands at, with the refugee camps that was already uh, unacceptable uh, conditions for people living there. And now even more people are arriving, and of course this uh, asks for uh, further um, help that need to be provided. I would especially mention that we need to help children and unaccompanied minors. This is urgent to get them away from these conditions at the islands and to have a safe heaven also for them. I think that we have, as you know, um, a, a, a statement with Turkey. Uh, the European Union is still delivering on this statement with Turkey. We are still supporting uh, more than 1.7 million refugees in Turkey, and we will continue with that. It's, of course, uh, necessary that Turkey, that is the country in the world with the biggest refugee population, will have support from the European Union. And now the focus must be to come back to a dialogue with Turkey on how this can be uh, how we can continue on that kind of, of statement together. We are much, much better prepared in the European Union today compared to 2015. That's why we are able to, to send all this help to Greece right now. But we are not well prepared enough. We are still lacking a common uh, approach, a common policy on migration and asylum. We are still lacking uh, migration and asylum deal. And this is what I've been working on very, for all these days since we took, took office. I have visited and have dialogues with all the member states, with the political parties in parliament, with a lot of other stakeholders, to find out where the common ground for a compromise that can be accepted by all member states are. And one thing is very clear from this dialogue is that uh, the relation with third countries, like with Turkey, is very, very important. The protection of the borders is very important. And that we need to find the mechanism for a mandatory solidarity that can help 
a member state that is under pressure like Greece is right now. And when I started this dialogue with the member states, I was, uh, everybody told me this is going to be very, very difficult, you know, to unblock the block situation and find a compromise. It's still a very difficult task, but I must tell you that I'm much more positive now than I was uh, that compared to before I started this dialogue. And let's hope that the efforts we now will see from member states stepping up on help towards Greece in this moment might be the first important step towards a new uh, solidarity mechanism that will be, give meaningful help to a member state under pressure. Thank you very much.